Marth player from Sweden joined Melee Stats in July of this year and representing Melee Stats for Shine. And actually, they have a victory over Frenzy twice oh, okay. at Giga Schwab, 3-2 and 3-0 uh, back in March of this year. That's that's a huge win for, for Abe. That is. That is very good. They're also, all, another notable thing, born after Melee was released, 19. 19 oh. years old. That That is a... <laughs> We gotta get to work, no. man. What are we doing? No. <laughs> you know, like we gotta get better. Like that. The youngins. That, this is a person who's like, literally, like some people have been playing melee. I mean, this person, me, like, I've been, but I wasn't playing the whole time. But mm -hmm. yeah, uh, Abe, a youngin, a youth. They're out here. Definitely are. Let's see what they have uh, to offer on the side of this matchup. Something that kind of we, you know, we mentioned the pivots already, but I've always felt this is a matchup where like. Sounds weird, but like if neither player is moving and they're both in center stage, like Marth has an advantage. But then like once you add in like all the kind of movement and mix-ups available, uh, Puff can kind of like trick Marth and get a lot, lot off of it. It is going to be it's, it is going to be a, a little bit on the Puff's end in terms of how the Puff can kind of drift in and drift out with some of the approaches that Puff likes doing, right? Because Marth has great tools to kind of keep Puff out between like the the longer hitboxes that Marth has. So it's gonna be a little bit on the Puff to not just get hit by all these forward airs that the the Marth is gonna be doing, right? Absolutely. Like one of the things I always felt back when I used to play this matchup as a Puff player um, was that like if you didn't have center stage, uh, it it really hurt, especially if you were above Marth. Um, that's kind of a, a problem area for a lot of matchups against Marth. You know, he's so good with the up air, kind of struggling to come down. But it's these sort of angles where Marth is like, sorry, like you're not allowed to come back. And it's only when he kind of overcommits, which is, you know, not easy. Like you don't know when you should be ripping out a forward smash and when you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. But uh, it also takes discipline to kind of go for the lower committal options. Ooh. <gasps> that was a scary spot. I mean, Definitely. just whenever you see crouching puff like that, and then the opponent is grabbed, that could be a rest. That could be a punish. Yeah, crouching puff, hit oh. an upset. Definitely. Kind of, kind of reaching a little bit with uh, some of the pounds, though, from Pig's End. But has the lead, so I, I imagine you can let it rip a little bit. Mm, Ooh. There you go. Finally getting the tipper F smash that they were looking for. Yeah, definitely seeing invincibility also kind of a factor. Uh, Marth in particular, oh. <laughs> just out of nowhere. And going to get the stock for it, too. Uh, very good stuff from Pig, and this is a sizable lead. This is where you can either start to commit to your game plan and just say, like, I'm going to build up damage, or you can go for, like, really aggressive rests and just kind of, like, push the lead. And I don't think that's the way you want to play it, but sometimes we see Puff kind of get more aggressive whenever they have a stock. It does feel like Pig is going uh, a little bit more in, right? Uh, based on the options that you uh, pointed out they could be doing. So it feels like being in your face as Puff can be so scary. Even with like these aggressive, aggressive board smashes, kind of like calling out when uh, Abe is going to be dashing in or going in for like an empty hop grab has been really nice. All the crouching has been really good. Almost getting the KO yeah. off the top. We'll do it with the with the up air. I also like the pound afterwards too because if the up air didn't hit, I've seen HBox do that where he'll use the pound to kind of just keep yourself up in the air mm. instead of just using the jumps. So you can potentially try to get another up here after. That's a great, great kind of like piece of analysis, actually. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, like being able to stay up there because you don't want to expend those jumps. You don't want to get clipped by something and then find yourself off stage. Uh, good point for sure. Uh, in terms of counter picks, I think this matchup is one where counter picks, you know, have quite a lot of weight. Dreamland in particular, something that uh, Marth really doesn't like. Obviously, Pig took the game, so I feel like we're probably going to see like like a stadium or like a Yoshi's. The tricky thing about Yoshi's is again, that kind of edge guarding factor where like early on people used to love taking Puff to Yoshi's. And I feel like as the meta has progressed, Puff kind of starts up an edge guard and more often than not, she's able to finish it where she once did not. FD, uh, also a good one. I actually don't mind the stage Puff personally. I think it's going to be a lot of uh, how well can Abe zone out the Puff if you're going onto a stage like this, right? Like just. And also, I mean, not being able to dance platform to platform is very nice, right? Because I think Puff does get a lot of mileage resetting neutral and kind of choosing when Puff wants to go. And that's a huge opening. That's a huge punish as well. 
Yeah, 34% already up a solid stock. That is super big. I do think you're right about the platform. Oh! Okay, wow, Pig. This is what we talked about with the confidence, right? Like, oink, oink. Pig, <laughs> pig uh, went for that rest on Mango a while back. Uh, not a rest you typically see, so clearly that's part of Pig's play style. Yeah, I mean, whenever you see Crashing Puff, I'm telling you, you really got to think twice a little bit. Definitely. Especially now that that option has been threatened. It's going to be all the more scary. Pig really pigging out, <laughs> says production, and they are absolutely correct. Getting another pivot. Uh, F Smash, Abby doing quite well. Uh, one of the things I do find, though, with this stage is even though like the platforms can be really beneficial for Puff, they can also be really kind of harmful for Puff. Surprised we didn't see the Sing reset there. Like That's something that in both of those situations we could have seen mm. from Pig. And then you get the F Smash off yes, of it as exactly. well. exactly. That's a good point. Um, yeah, the back air, you just have a few more times to get back on the stage and potentially even getting teched and whatnot. Plus, it's just nice to see Sing oh. actually used in any practical way ever. So The one time. Ooh, great light shield. That's, that's another thing. Uh, if you're looking for like modern things that you'll see from Marths in kind of the newer age of melee, besides things like pivot tippers, is um, using light shield <gasps> a lot more aggressively because Marth's shield is not good. Gonna live from this too. Yeah. Wow. Even knowing to air dodge too and not like commit to an up B. Because that could have been another potential yeah. pointer from the, the Jigglypuff side. That's true. Very I like the dash dancing as well from the Marth because not wanting to approach the Puff as Puff is threatening all those Ooh. crouches. Great percent. This, this is juicy damage, but wow. once again, the pig patented forward smash just out of the blue. Uh, you sometimes see this with puffs where like, they have this very kind of like, it's not like a read, but it's very like positional and trying to like just catch you like slip in a little bit. I feel like that's definitely something about pig's play style is just like, hey, like if you just kind of land on me at the wrong spot, I'm gonna F smash you, I'm gonna rest you, I'm gonna make your life a lot more difficult. It's tough to challenge uh, puffs sometimes like that when the Martha's is like a, a good distance away, right? Because Pig is kind of throwing it out when there's a little bit of room in between. I can't believe that rest actually worked. This is what I'm saying. Like Pig just kind of ready for stuff. And by the way, the, what Pig was looking for is this mm. side B up tilt that Marth's love to go for. It has the same problem that the jab kind of up smash does with Fox, where you can crouch the side B. And then there's a second layer of mix-ups that Marth can use, which is uh, going for a side B and then going for a second side B. If you do the, mm. instead of just doing the red side B, you do the green one, and Ooh. that's kind of the second layer. I was talking with Prince Abu about this a long time ago, and he's like, listen up, you know? Just side B a second time? Side B a second time. Mm. People don't see it that often. That is interesting. That would, uh, the multi hits, multi hit kind of stuff is what you would do in those kind of situations, and Marth kind of has that a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I see. The Ken. See. Okay, one game apiece. We're. We're in for a good set. This has been a good set. I think you know these are two players, especially in uh, Abby, that you just don't really see. Is it? Ab I've already forgotten. <laughs> you, made, like, you made me I'm, confused. Is it, like, is it Abe? 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 It's Abe. Abe. Okay, okay. okay. Like, I was thinking Abe too, and I was like, is it? Did I get it wrong? <laughs> I'm just I'm just out here like messing with you. Uh, it's Abe, right? Don't don't it's confuse. Abe. Don't tell us three. For, the stream runner is messing with us, telling us all the pronunciations. It's Abe, right? Abe. 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 Okay. okay, Abe. It is. The, the youthful Marth player from Sweden. Mm. Um, someone that you wouldn't see play as much, maybe someone like if you're following the European scene more closely, but I think both of these players are like a lot better than I think kind of people would realize. So, and it's been like they're pretty evenly matched. I think so, and we actually saw the side B thing that you were talking about where uh, Abe does the second hit of the side mm. B uh, in anticipation of Pig doing the crouch. So already the adaptations that you pointed out coming out in this game three, which yeah, is big. It's an important one for sure. And seeing that uh, multiple down airs as well, another big part of the matchup. Uh, good coverage from Abe. <laughs> 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 you messed me up. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's Abe. Like, it's, 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 it's definitely, it's definitely Abe. But like you know, like you say, so, like you know when uh, you meet someone and you're like, uh, you don't remember their name. And then you're like, it's so great to chill with you, friend. Ah, babe. <laughs> you, friend. Say, you say it a little quietly, and you. then they kind of look at you, and they're like, they didn't react. Was, did they hear me? <laughs> Was I correct? It's. Oh. <laughs> you can just keep saying you. It's yeah, so nice to it's see so you. It's so good to see you, you know? You again. Oh, you. Yeah. But if you don't have the social skills of a seven year old, you just go, what's your name again? I'm sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> it's 
someone just like burst out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I like the center stage from Abe. Center stage play. Kind of forcing Pig to at least not have too many of the platform advantages that uh, Pig has been using a little bit. Because the center of Dreamland is like oh, far enough crouch. away. Sorry to no, cut no, you No, 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 you're good, you're good. That the the crouch, crouch was important. The, though, the crouch on the up tilt, like, again, small thing. These are the small moments in melee. If Abe doesn't crouch there, gets rested for sure. The momentum shifts so suddenly, it's basically a stock trade. Um, but the awareness that this is what Puff is going for, and I'm going to directly call it out, so good. Really important. No, you're absolutely right. That would have been a, a complete reversal. And those F smashes the again. The F smash! It's, it's really at these positions where Abe is, like, kind of a little bit further away than Ford Air, and he... <laughs> and, and Pig sees that, you know, uh, Abe is coming in and then does the F smash. So he's doing a really good job with the F smash in particular. But mo double hit of the forward air is a good option against a crashing puff, especially when you have the max distance on the forward air. Absolutely. Yeah, I think, like, you can tell a lot of Abe's play style is, like, really trying to kind of call you out and, like, if this were like a poker thing, it would be going like all in at really specific times. Yeah. Is like kind of a way to sort of sum it up. Because the F smashes can be punished really hard if yes. you're shielded, right? In particular, that's a really nice edge guard. Putting out the forward air there, uh, so that you have enough time to re grab ledge when the uppy comes out. Mm. And if they uppy sooner, then you trade with the forward air. You know, we talked earlier about the side B and the crouch. One of the big things is that mix-up is only available to you if you are grounded. And it sounds obvious, but like, you know, in these moments where uh, Pig is committing to the air, it also means that Marth doesn't have to worry about kind of fishing for side B. He can kind of go for it more aggressively. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like kind of a weird dynamic about the matchup mm -hmm. is you mm -hmm. kind of sometimes like can pay, play more grounded because also crouching under the grab, of course, right? Yeah, especially at the high percents, I think Pig was opting to go for more of these grounded things, especially, you know, with how much mileage Pig was getting with the forward smashes in particular. Just like being able to call out when Abe is going from air to ground, it felt like. Definitely. Going to game four. Again, the top eight, uh, top, sorry, top 48 qualifier here. And this is, this is loser's bracket, so one of these players will be out of the tournament after this. Top 48 is Shine is pretty good. Oh, the, the oh. oh no! Does Pig not know how to Pig DI? is dizzy right now, man. All the way down. Is he going to get this edge guard, though? Abe, you got to close it. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a weird tag. <laughs> I got to go look up the DI on that because I don't think that's like a you can oh, di you, you can, can di, di out can of di it. it you can di out of it out of the down throw right but you can definitely di it but then there's it, mix ups there you can like yeah, yeah where you can like then forward throw instead and so they're diing for the down throw you get like an yes. F smash something along those lines exactly so it's awful because like I I don't play puff that much anymore like I'm definitely a falcon main but back when I used to play puff like and I still sometimes do uh, I don't actually know the d di mix up I do know it's built around down throw and forward throw mm -hmm. like you said. I don't know exactly like what I should be hit holding at what time, but like the important thing is to just mix in the kind of away in, and then also the no di. I think is actually a big part of it too. Yeah. Um, see, and then you get it down. I was gonna say you can get down air off of it, which is really nice. Yeah. It'll ground the puff, and then you can get tech chase sequences off of it. I think what it is because I know with forward throw on Marth. Um, it is just punishing holding in. Both, and you can do up smash or you can do the downer if they're at a lower percent. You know the up, uh, F smash isn't going to kill. Mm -hmm. uh, but so that must mean that down throw, uh, holding away is in. That's got to be what it is. It's a really solid mix-up to throw out, I think, especially at low percent. <laughs> I mean, as if if the person doesn't know how to di, it, just go for it over and over again, right? It's not something we really see too often in 2022 melee, but. It's kind of like how uh, if you see someone not being able to get out of like Falco's down throw over and over again, just keep yeah. doing it. You just keep yeah. doing it. There, that's the that's the proper DI. So if the down throw you're facing to the right, just then DI the, to the go left. Go for the down air. That's what it looked like. I, I, was, I was like, maybe just a suicide down air there. I guess you kind of worry about Puff's options, and if you're really good, like Abe, you just you just make it work. Yeah. Really solid edge guarding and just combo game throughout from Ave. Great adaptations. I think we didn't really see too much of the the grab kind of mix-ups oh. as much in the first two, three, four games, right? Two, three games. Really only coming out in this game four. 
One of the things I can't help but notice is like uh, Pig's, Pig's got the mask uh, dipped down to deal with the glasses, and Abe does not. And every once in a while, I'll see like a puff of oh, the fog, fog, you know? Like I'm like, Abe playing from a disadvantage. <laughs> He's still making it work. <laughs> All right, you know, this This is one of the challenges of the matchup is just uh, Marth surprisingly good at, like, edge guarding pop. And it, it's an edge guarding kind of style that we're not so used to seeing because it doesn't always lead to a kill, but it just, like, swats her away over and over as you build more and more damage. And, you know, that's still kind of a huge win condition. Like, if you can just, like we're seeing now, just get hit after hit after hit, or not what we're seeing now. Yeah, I think at that particular position, actually, uh, Pig got what he wanted where the crouch avoided the grab mm -hmm. and just at a kind of high enough percent to where he didn't want to threaten rest i suppose so he didn't want to deal with the coming back down and getting punished off the off the rest but yeah it makes a lot of sense i think overall uh marth can kind of play the style that you're talking about where you can just kind of like swat them out and keep them out uh over and over again if you decide to do that but it's up to the the puff to then kind of mix up how the the back air initiations are going to be going, how you do like empty hop into like grab and whatnot. So, great showing from Abe in game four. Or Abby. Don't do this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, with all that said, uh, we got to sign off. We had a lot of fun here today. We had some laughs. We learned that if you want to be good at melee, you just got to invite Michael Jordan over to play a little bit of basketball. That's right. That's right. But uh, I don't actually know who our next commentators will be. I believe. I don't know. I, 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 Seal and Will. Yeah, we got Seal, another kind of melee stats. Friend. I don't see anyone's better than us at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're going we're to see some Twitch chat stuff. They're going to be like, kick us off. Be like Yo, what us, the hell get is Get us out of here. <laughs> Talk about the match. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, exactly. Sharp, Sharp got me, got me mixed up, man. Like, <laughs> in and outside of the game. So, yeah, Ben, such a blast. Uh, uh, Vish, obviously a joy commentating with you. Always fun, man. Good stuff, and keep it locked here because we got way more melee matches coming up soon.